him. We jump into the water. We have this murky layer of water. You cannot see not even a feet from you. Just suddenly you get to see these amazing reefs. It's like one of these places that you find only once in your life. For me, the mysterious is how these corals are thriving under these environmental conditions. But at the same time, I was very worried because the plans were to have a shipping channel in that area. We have to protect this reef. This is the Varadero Coral Reef, an ecological anomaly that could hold a clue to saving coral reefs around the world. Located in the path of a proposed shipping channel, Varadero has thrived inexplicably in one of the most polluted bays of South America. Marine biologist Valeria Pizarro discovered Varadero in 2013. She and other scientists have been studying Varadero, hoping to replicate its success at other endangered reefs. We are losing coral reefs in a highly rate. So I've seen in Colombia highly degraded reefs. When you have something that is happening like that right now and you find a reef like Varadero that shows no signs of coral degradation, every scientist that has been in Varadero, every time that come out of the water is like, oh my God. It turns out that Varadero's growth pattern and the microbes it hosts are distinct from other reefs. These factors could have played a role in Varadero's prosperity, but scientists may never have the time to find out because of the proposed shipping channel. The shipping channel, backed by a group of Colombian officials and business people, would cut through Varadero. Proponents of the project say it will boost Colombia's economy by reducing traffic delays at a key commercial port. However, dredging of the channel would destroy one quarter of Varadero and indirectly affect another quarter of it, according to studies done by Pissarro. Ironically, Pissarro was originally hired by the dredging project to survey the channel's location, which led to her discovery of the reef. Since then, she has been working with scientists and activists to stall the project. Coral reefs are the forest of the sea, and the corals are the trees that actually form that forest. They provide so many ecosystem services that if we lose coral reefs, we're gonna start losing all the human communities. First, they're gonna lose the ecosystem protection from wave surge, hurricanes, tropical storms. If you like to go on holidays to nice white sand beaches, you're not gonna have white sand beaches anymore. Coral reefs, they are responsible of 25% of all fish that we eat in the world. So you're not going to be able to find most of the fish that you like. Over time, it will affect the whole humanity. On May 27th, the first round of Colombia's presidential election yielded worrying results for those working to preserve Varadero. Right-wing candidate Ivan Duque emerged with the most votes. If he becomes president, Pissarro says, he may soon allow dredging of the shipping channel to start. As the final round of the election nears, Pissarro says she will continue to raise awareness about Varadero. She hopes people can extend their empathy to these forests in the sea, places that she has come to regard as part of her family. 
looking after and learning from these organisms is like being home. I will invite everyone to learn about corals and coral reefs. You get to understand that the world has so many different things that we depend on and maybe this will help us to develop something and to do something to conserve these ecosystems.